Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. And this video is going to be about the London time range strategy. All right, so now this is basically an insight into my factual time theory. And I'm essentially giving it to you guys for free. All right, so you let me know how that works out for you. All right, so you're getting proper value. And, and of course, the value is going to work only if you apply yourself and do the actual work necessary. The rules and regulations behind this model is, of course, going to be discussed in this video. Okay, now the time range. Okay, so the London time range it falls within these two times, right? So look, we're looking at the two thirty a.m. EST price and the four thirty a.m. EST price. And when I say price, I mean time. <laughs> okay, so between two thirty to four thirty, that is what we are looking at for our execution window. So this is a combination of our ninety-minute liquidity cycle that we have been working on since ICT mentioned it on his Telegram channel before he closed it down. So that was a long time ago, right? I think it was 2020 or 2021. So we've been on this for a long ass time, okay? And just because we show new stuff, just because we show new applications, doesn't mean that we haven't been using it. It's just that the public, you, the public sees what we want them to see. And it seems like we're hopping on the new, the new you know, trend because you guys don't know what's going on behind the scenes, right? So in the mentorship, everything is transparent. Everyone knows what we're working on, how we're working on it, and for how long we've been working on it. Everything is there. It's just that the public views it in a different way. Because, of course, you all don't know everything. All right, so the 90-minute cycle between 2.30 to 4.30, that is where, that's basically the sweet spot, right? And me, as the pioneer of the application of the 90-minute liquidity cycles, Yes, I know some of you, you all are going to get triggered. No, he did not do this. No, he did not do that. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I just laugh my ass off when you think that I'm not the one who, who, who created the application for it, the retail application for it, right? But anyways, let's move aside from that, right? So this London time range, it's actually a gold mine for London setups, as I'm going to show you with the few examples that I have, okay? Right, so... The purpose of this time range. Now, the purpose of this time range is essentially to engage in the continuation of price or the reversal of price based on where price is. Okay. Now, we're looking at where price is at relative to the 12.36 a.m. EST opening price. So, more on this later. Okay. So, we understand that price moves to either liquidate, right? So, liquidate means take out the high and drop. Okay. Or fill in a gap and then drop. And vice versa for the bullish example for the bullish side right so this time range inside of london will seek to do exactly one of these two fundamental functions of price either liquidate a higher or low or fill in a higher time frame gap and then move the other side okay so i hope you guys get that understanding the basic function of price is the most important thing for any model to work okay Right, so the algorithmic delivery. Now, as you can see on the left side, most smart money gurus, smart money people, smart money community leaders, they claim that London session is actually a breeding ground for liquidity. And of course, by that point, people should avoid getting slaughtered. I beg to differ. Okay, any time interval, any session, we trade them all with the algorithmic theory, the fractal time theory. We trade them all. Okay. The London session, you're supposed to be viewing it as an isolated bubble. You're not viewing it as a daily sequence. Okay, For this model, we are viewing London session as an isolated bubble. We are treating it as its own independent variable that is fixed in time. Okay, So what you should do is you're going to wait for the time range. So before you start trading London, you have to wait for it to be the right time of day. In this case, it's 2.30 a.m. EST to 4.30 a.m. EST. You must be inside that range. And now what you're going to do is you're going to be identifying the current function. You will identify whether the price is reversing or whether it's continuing. And then you're going to engage in price depending on whatever trading model that you have, such as displacement, fair value gaps, whatever it is that you use. Okay? Now on a side note, if you use my bias predictor, things can get really easy, really fast. Okay, so instead of using visual confirmation in your trading models, 
you can use something that is data driven 70% of the time, 80% of the time, sometimes even 100% of the time, you can essentially boost your confidence and the strike rate of your trading model. But just because you get the bias predictor or just because you get my time projections indicator, uh, that doesn't really solve your psychological issues. If you do have psychological issues, okay? If you can't take a loss, if you keep on taking, if you keep on forcing the same trade over and over and over and over again, you know, losing also at that, then you can have the best model in the world. You can have the best data-driven model in the world. You can have the best data-driven indicator in the world and nothing is going to save you and your trading model if you can't control yourself. Again, nothing will save you. Okay, but on the bright side, uh, if you can really uh, control yourself, then be sure to get the bias predict. It's literally a gold mine as well. Okay, right. So now, why is a twelve thirty six a.m. EST time really, really important? Why is that opening price really important? Right. So the opening price is derived from our application of the doubling theory. Okay, it's the time and price axis for the London session, and that's all there is to it. Now, if you want to learn how to derive these times by yourself, then of course, you can also learn how to optimize it for your own trading models and use it in ways that you know no one can imagine. You can check out the private mentorship. Okay. All right. So if you look at this example, now, the usage of the 1236 opening price. So now, as you know, every, every price point or point of interest below, okay, every price point or point of interest below this opening price is discount. Everything above is premium. So when we're above, we're looking to sell. When we're down, we're looking to buy. And if we never come back down, then there's another approach to which we can take, right, without using this opening price. But that's an ICT concept. Okay. Now, as usual, according to Larry Williams, ICT, etc. I I definitely be giving credits to Larry Williams first because ICT copied it from Larry Williams. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I don't think I'm wrong. Right? So you want to sell above the opening price and you want to start buying below the opening price, as I just mentioned. Okay. So this way you'll be able to catch the meat of the move and capitalize on trend-based movement. Right now, if you think about investors like Warren Buffett, they want to buy value, right? So this is where we're going to find value. And they, they want a short premium. This is a very, very short premium. Okay. Too expensive. They want to sell something that's too expensive. Too cheap. They want to buy something that's too cheap. And this way, you're literally catching the meat of the move relative to the 1236 opening price. And also you can see the sensitivity that price has to this level. Okay, you can literally see the sensitivity that price has to this level. Okay, all right, so now what we'll do is we will actually go to the chart and we'll look at some examples, all right? Now over here, what you can see is I, I've been, I took two shots. I was in a short over here that hit break even. It's in the public telegram group. And this is something that I took with uh, the mentorship. Of course, it's a demo because it's Bitcoin. It's the weekend, right? Sunday right now. Okay. But now if you were to look at something like, let's say gold. Okay. Now on gold, all you can do is this, right? If we just go and take a random day. Okay, let's take a day like this. Okay. Like that. And let's just get five days out of it. So let's take this entire week. Let's take the entire week and let's look at the entire week's worth of data. Right? So I guess we need to go a bit farther back right here. Okay. And divide this into five from Monday through Friday. And there we go. Uh, let me just check what happened to the trade. I guess it will take profit. Yes, it did. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go back here and let's take a look at this. Right? Now, here's my Monday. All right. Let's look at this. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to mark out the 1236 opening price. So, on the five minute chart, that will be inside the 1240 opening price. So in between, right? So what I'll do is I'll just mark the 1235 opening price. If that's only a one minute difference here. Okay. Right. Now over here, what can I see? Now I know that my opening price is here. I know that my 230 is the time I'm looking at to start executing from. 
and as well as 430. So between here and here, I'm going to be looking to execute. Okay. Price goes above into premium. What is it doing? It's taking on the Asian high. So what did price do? It took on liquidity. So if it's taking on liquidity and price has begun to displace from down here, what am I looking at? A continuation. Right? Well, I'm looking at a continuation, simply put. Price goes down here. We go back up over here. Okay. This down close. And this up closure that goes up there, that's a breaker. That's my definition of a breaker because this is my definition of an it's my definition of an order block. Okay, this is a breaker, and price starts dropping from there. So that's number one, and that happens where in premium. Okay, right. Now if you take the next day, let's see, 1235. Okay, so 1236 is somewhere up over here, but that's okay. Do this. All right. What happens? We go up. Let's find our timing. 2.30. 4.30. There. What does price do? Right here, price takes out what? The Asian high. Yeah, takes out the Asian high. Takes out another high over here and starts dropping. So what's happening? We're looking for a continuation back down, right? So price is going back up into premium. That's what you're looking for. Otherwise, there's no trade, right? goes up into premium there okay look at the very high over there look at where it goes it goes here into this guy this guy is my bullish order block and when you trade through this bullish order block it becomes your breaker okay to the entire thing because your breaker okay and that's the move so you can see the bulk of the move is happening here so you can essentially treat this 230 price as also your opening price until 430 and above the 230 is your premium and if it goes above the 1236 price also, that's a double premium. So you'll give you a proper value behind that. So now that's another gem over there, right? So that's you, you have to use that at your own risk. Because remember, we're, we're, over here, we're still down in discount. If we're selling, we want to be in premium. All right? Okay, let's look at the next day. Let's have a look at 1235. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at our time intervals, 2.30, 4.30. What's happening? Here, price is coming from doing what? Taking out the Asian high and also taking out, I guess, the uh, lunch hour high from the previous day. Yeah, the lunch hour high as well. So price took out liquidity. Yeah, that means during this interval of time, price should fill up a gap, right? So that means, look over here, here, right there. We start off right there, and then price drops. Okay, is there an entry? We need to see. We need to see an entry in premium, right? There's no entry. So what can you do? Later on, you can look for a buy after price takes out liquidity. What did price do? Price took out the Asian low. So then you can look for a change of state, and you can buy to go back up into this level. And you can see how price is sensitive again, and it goes into premium, and then continues to sell off back and forth between that opening price. Because that is your true opening price for London. You can also extend for the entire day. There are other opening prices that I use, but that's mentorship. Okay, you're already getting proper value as it is. Now it's up to you to think outside of the box, put your own model into this, and literally customize it, do whatever you want, and literally make something out of this. Okay, right. And also, of course, please send me a message and share your results with me, whether it worked out for you or not. All right. Now here, on this day, uh, I think it's Wednesday, yeah. So if you look at the 12.35 opening price right here, right there, what's happening? So we took out the Asian high, okay? We took out the Asian high, that's the Asian high, Asian high is somewhere, yeah. We took out the Asian high, I think. No, we did not. Sorry, sorry. We, the Asian high is over here. So fine, fine, fine. Price goes down, goes into discount. Now I have no trade. Why? Because price did not do anything. Fine. Uh, what can I do then? What I'll do is I'll go to the higher time frame and I'll check whether there's a gap fill. So if price is coming down and filling up a gap, okay, so between 2.30 and 4.30, I can then look for a buy off of that gap. Come down. Discount, discount, and go up. All right? Okay. And I guess that's it. Yeah, here. There's one more here. Yep. 
Let's find the 1235 opening price. Right there. And I just realized these partitions have gotten screwed up a bit because of bank holidays. So let's just draw this all the way in front. There we go. Okay. Find the uh, time interval that we're interested in, the 90 minute cycle time interval. So we are looking at the 230 opening price there, or rather the 230 price there, and the 430 price here. Okay. We are, as you can see, we are in premium, so we can sell. Okay. Right here, we go up, we took out the Asian high, and then we are selling. So we took our liquidity. So inside this point, we're looking for a fair value gap. We're looking for an inverse gap. We're looking for a fill of efficiency or rather a fill of inefficiency for price to use in order to move down, okay? So right here, yeah, we have this. Now we have to go to the different time frame and see whether this is actually a fair value gap or not, but we have the benefit of hindsight. You can see it worked out. You can see this here, that's your very short block here. Okay, it's in time here actually. Use this to go short, stop loss above the high, right? And price retraces back into the break even point. If you had break even, you hit it at break even. If not, you're still in the trade. And it goes now one more time, takes out the London low. You should be out by then. And uh, what happens? Goes back up into premium and sells off again. Goes back into discount, rides higher, back into premium, sells off. Right? So this is your daily dynamic premium and discount points. Above is premium, down is discount as a whole day. Okay. Right. So now, I hope you found this insightful, right? And if you like this, please like and comment and also subscribe. And of course, I will most likely be doing some London trade reviews using this model so that you guys can see whether, you know, we're actually taking the same trades or not, All right? So that's it. If you have any content ideas, if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Mentorship is available. Bias predictors are available. Everything is available for you to use. And again, next year, mentorship is going to be high ticket only. So be sure to get in before that. Right. So I'll see you in the next one. Good luck and good trading. Bye-bye.